What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Alan Wake 2's DLC yet again, and this was really all that I needed. You know, we talked a few days ago, actually, on this channel, right? You had Sam Lake doing the I emoji, Jeff Keighley, that kind of team up. I think even with that, and we talked about that in the video, I think the DLC for Alan Wake 2 is kind of a lock to be at Summer Game Fest. They have the bond, you have the eye emoji thing, it's going to happen. I felt pretty good. Now today, you have something I think even deeper. I would say, well, two things. Number one, it makes it deeper, where I think it's now 1,000%. If it was 100%, now it's 1,000% going to show up at Summer Game Fest. But I also want to just respect Remedy for going, I guess, as far as they are. You know, it's DLC. It's going to be important. For those Alan Wake, uh, you know, lore diehards, which I, I am one, I believe, as well, we all know, like, any of this stuff is kind of required reading. It's required watching. It's very uh, Kingdom Hearts-like, I guess, in that way. You're going to have to pay attention to all of these, whether you like it or not. So you kind of know that, and you know the DLC, you know, eventually it's going to start to tie to Control 2, so, like, that's going to be important. But Remedy... They didn't change it fully, but, you know, they do, like, a light changing of literally their brand, their name. So, it's still at Remedy Games, right, because you can't give that up. But the name, Poison Pill Entertainment, you have a new logo, still in the vein of Remedy, right, but new logo, which looks awesome. Poison Pill Entertainment since 1995 Night Springs City. And what is the first DLC? Night Springs, right? So th there's absolutely, again, no way that this isn't, number one, referencing the DLC. Those that are shocked by it, it's like, well... You know, again, I, I respect them for leaning into it. Clearly, they're not changing uh, the name for good. They're leaning into it. They're leaning into the brand. They're leaning into what this DLC is going to push. I have a lot of respect for that. But also, it's going to be announced, you know, next week, and I'm sure we're going to get a lot of details on it. So not too, too much more to say than that. I do think of the two DLCs, Again, it's hard to say like they don't matter at all because certainly in the Alan Wake universe, everything matters. But if I were to rank the two in terms of how powerful and the requiredness of it, like that you're going to have to pay attention to it, it's actually the second DLC that I think you'd have to pay attention to more. But you know what? This could very well give answers to something or set something up that the next DLC follows. It's, again, something that you can't just uh, take lightly or not uh, not care about, not look at, right? You're going to have to. But I do think the second one is going to maybe be more of like the bombshell. But regardless, I think we get at least the first DLC announcement at Summer Game Fest. You got to give a date specifically because they're both supposed to come out this year. I don't know about that one. I don't know about the likelihood of that but I, I think certainly the first one maybe around the time of Alan Wake last year so maybe October uh, you could do the first one maybe the second one is towards the very beginning of 2025 hopefully it can be sooner than that but we'll see let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel bell icon turned on I hope to see you all on the next one